Hey everybody, Yankee here. You know, it's no secret that I'm not a huge fan of 9mm. Never have been, probably never will be. I prefer other calibers. But today I want to take it a step further. I don't want to just tell people, hey, I don't think it's the best caliber you could choose. I want to try to convince each and every one of you that not only should 9mm not be the most common round or the go-to round in the civilian self-defense market, it should be one we avoid. It should be one we should be casting aside for better options. Now, I know a lot of the tacky turds right now are getting all angry, so, but before you go and get a Cheeto dust on your mom's keyboard, let me explain why I'm saying this. It has nothing to do with performance. I know a lot of you are like, it does so good. It's got nothing to do with performance. I'm not saying nine millimeters, not a very capable self-defense round. It obviously is. However, as I've always said, it's not the best choice, but there's a much bigger reason why it shouldn't be, like I said, the primary go-to round in the civilian self-defense market. Even though it's capable, it still shouldn't be our choice. And here's why. Because it's used by the military. It's used by law enforcement. And it's not just used by our military, it's used by NATO and pretty much every military. That means that round is in demand from every military pretty much in the world because they use that round, every major military. And therefore, when things get bad or there's a war or whatever, that's one of the first rounds that's gonna become scarce. It's one of the few handgun rounds that's gonna become scarce. It's gonna be hard to get. And if you're a civilian trying to get that ammo during hard times, you might be out of luck. Since it is just that one round that is so popular, all they gotta do is say, hey, we need this to send to our allies, or the government needs to buy this up. Nothing strange here, it's something we use. And suddenly, all the ammo's gone. Just because of the fact that it's used by everybody. And we shouldn't be using that as our primary round because it is so susceptible to just disappearing whether there's a real reason or whether there's just a manufactured reason. And I don't know why the uh, gun manufacturers have gone along with this because it is such a bad idea. It's really bad uh, planning. It's bad strategy to do this. Uh, well, actually, I do know why they've gone along with it because it's much cheaper just to make one caliber gun. It's much cheaper to make a 9mm gun than it is a 10mm gun. So there's multiple ways it's just cheaper to go 9mm. And they don't really care about, well, will ammo be available in five years if things get bad? What they care about is, are we making a big profit today, this quarter? Are we going to give our investors back some money? Are we going to be able to buy back some stock? That's the things they care about. So they're not worried about what's best for us in the civilian market. They're worried about what's best for their bottom line. So they're more than happy to go along with just the uh, bulldozing of all the other rounds and just making everything nine millimeter. Like I said, it's better for them financially. And like I said, it's what the government wants too because they want us dependent on a round that they have a lot of control over. They have a lot of buying power to get it and they have reasons to get it. It's something they use. They have reasons to take all they can find here and ship it overseas if, if one of our allies needs it. And disarming the population, taking away their right to self-defense, is just a little, you know, side benefit. Same thing with 223. If 223 or, you know, any of those are your primary rifle caliber, you might want to rethink that. Because if things ever go bad, you might be able to want to get something in a caliber the government doesn't so readily snatch up. But when it comes to self-defense in handguns, 9mm is the most susceptible round to that. It's a round we should not be using as our primary round. I started the whole Save the 40s Foundation trying to get people away from 9mm. I would love to see 40 caliber become the most common go-to self-defense round in this country for handguns. But even that round is used by military some and law enforcement some. So we'd need to go something more like 10 millimeter or 357 SIG. Uh, I like 40 and 10 millimeter, obviously, from this shirt, not so much 9 millimeter. You can get this shirt over on my website, by the way. Uh, shameless plug. But like I said, we need to switch something else, 357 SIG. There needs to be a round that is common, 
There are guns chambered in it. It's something we can find easily. They make so much of it that it's just as cheap as nine millimeter instead of being some boutique round. And if there's more guns chambered in them, that will be the case. So we need that. So we're not at the whim of the government and NATO when it comes to supplies for our self-defense ammo, when it comes to our handguns, etc. So that's why we should be getting away from nine millimeter. It's the world's caliber. And when the world's in need, what do you think is going to be the first thing to disappear, as I've said already? So it just doesn't make sense. It makes sense for the government because they want control over the supply. It makes sense for the manufacturers because it makes some money, but it doesn't make sense for us. It's setting ourselves up for hard times and for failure, and that's never a good strategy. Oh, before I go, everybody, I just want to remind everyone that we are still doing the Fur Friends Animal Fundraiser. We're doing it all through December, and I've added a couple of designs over there. Uh, if you want to go over and donate, you can go over to my website and just donate. But I've added a couple Christmas designs over there. And these are designs that are going to go to benefit the Fur Friends uh, fundraiser. So go on over and get one if you want them. They're the Yukon Cornelius Iron and Steel. Iron and Steel. Every man wishes for Iron and Steel t-shirt. And the Don't Be a Bumble, Be Prepared t-shirt. Two very Christmassy t-shirts that are both going to benefit the Fur Friends Animal Fundraiser. So go on over to my website. Uh, pick yourself up one. If you order them by the 16th, they're supposed to arrive before Christmas. That's what it says over there on the website. Everyone can order up to the 16th and your items will still get to you by Christmas Eve. So if you want one for Christmas, go on over. Like I said, it will benefit the Fur Friends Animal Christmas Fundraiser. Thank mm -hmm. you.